So, Miss Angela, this is going live on our private page. Let's hope. Hi. <laughs> Hi. So good to see you again. Hi. So I wanted you too. to. too. Awesome. Yay. Yay. So I wanted to reach out to you um, just to have another chat with you, see how things are going. I wanted you um, to be able to share with our view, my the people in our group, and just to let everybody know what it's like to go through an experience like this. So um, if you wouldn't mind just sharing a little bit about um, what motivated you to want to do a session with us, what kind of got you the motivation to pick up the, call, the phone and call or email, but however our first contact was, and then kind of where, where it, it took from there, how it went from there. So this was something I was curious about and wanted to do for a while, but the older I got, the less uh, motivation I had to do it. But then I went through a life change and I said, you know what, I have to do something now. So I got on the Google and I searched you and you got great reviews. <laughs> so we made an appointment and uh, it was the most awesome experience I've ever had. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that makes me feel so good. So you shared a little bit about um, your experience, um, what was happening to you in your life. And mm -hmm. I think that um, for a lot of women, you're not the first woman who's come to me after going through or being in the throes of a divorce um, at various times of that tumultuous time in a woman's life. There's a change and you, you were looking for a way to, to do something different, feel good about you, right? Yes, definitely. Yes. I needed to find me, as I said, as I told you, I needed to find me. Um, didn't realize how lost I was when the separation happened. So I needed to find me again. And this was something, like I said, I was toying with for a while. So what better time than to do it than to find myself than to do this now, you know? So mm -hmm. I took that step and I'm so glad I did. <laughs> So share with us a little bit about what, um, what it was like for you. I know it, it's, uh, it's out of your comfort zones, out of most women's comfort zones. Um, what was it like when you first contacted us and then, you know, up until your shoot day? Okay. So when I walked into your studio that first time, you made me feel so welcome and comfortable. I had a little bit of butterflies going in, but I think I left them at the door because you were so <laughs> welcoming and warm and you made me feel so very comfortable. Um, your questions, it was like we were all friends, you know, <laughs> the questions you asked and then I, the conversation we had, it was like I knew you for a while. So I felt really comfortable in sharing stuff with you. Uh, I didn't feel like you were judging me in any way. So I had an awesome meeting with you. It, you you're really you have a knack for making people feel so at ease and mm -hmm. to think that okay we say we need to be at ease in our own skin but and basically that's what we did because we took everything off you know mm -hmm. <laughs> but I, yeah i was very much at ease with you ria awesome well that makes me feel so good too um so the day of the shoot what was it like for you uh, getting in the car coming over to the studio so the day of the shoot, I got lost, as you know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got lost getting to you. I don't know why. It's not like it was the first time I was going there. Mm -hmm. But when I did get there, you know, uh, uh, you met me at the door and you had mm -hmm. your staff and mm -hmm. everyone was so welcoming. Uh, from the makeup artist to your assistant, they just made me feel like a princess. And you treated me like a princess. Yeah. I mean sitting and having my makeup done. And it was like, I felt like I was going to be on the red carpet. <laughs> yeah. And there, and throughout the whole process, we were just having normal conversation, like friends just, you know, hanging out in a room and having normal conversations. So when the makeup, makeup artist turned me around and I saw what she did, I was like, whoa, I was just talking to you. When did this happen? You know, but, um, I, I was not nervous. I was not nervous at all because like I said, Ria, you and your staff, you made, made me feel so at ease, 
so welcoming, so comfortable in my own skin. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't feel like I, I wanted to flaunt it. Basically, <laughs> I wanted to flaunt myself. Yeah, that's so, great. Yeah, that's great. So um, right after the session, after you finished your session, um, from the start to the end of your session, what was that like for you personally? I didn't want it to end. <laughs> I really didn't want the session to end. I didn't, but I knew it had to. But um, time flew also. I didn't realize how many hours we were there and you know how many poses we had done. But I didn't want it to end. But um, when you sent me off to have lunch so you could you know finish the product, um, I met. Uh, I went to a restaurant and mm -hmm. I felt frisky, so I started <laughs> flirting with the guy behind the, the cash register and young boy, you know, he started, because I, I felt, I felt amazing. I felt like I was walking on air. Like mm -hmm. everybody was looking at me and I'm like, oh, this is me. This is who I am. I really felt amazing. And that was from, you know, what you did to shoot, the makeup, the costumes, everything. It was just, I felt like I was on cloud nine. Mm -hmm. So what, when you saw the images, when you came back, what was that like for you? So my when I first saw the images, I got very emotional. Mm -hmm. And the emotion came because I was like, wow, I have not seen that person in a mm -hmm. real long time. Mm -hmm. I have mm -hmm. not seen that smile, that grin, that vibrant, that glow in such a long time I didn't realize how dull I had become so I got yeah. emotional and I, I still get emotional thinking about it you know <laughs> but after going through all the images I was like whoa it was like that's me <laughs> that is me it was like I was my insides were dull and now all of a sudden they were bright and they were a glow and they were projecting out and I could just see a difference in me just from looking at those images. And that's something that has not left me to, as to, of today. It has not left me as of today. Yeah, because I was next question was going to be, you know, now it's been, we've had some time, a few months have passed since your session. And how do you feel about yourself now after some time has passed? I feel great. I am. <laughs> I am still on cloud nine, you know, I am taking care of myself, not that I didn't take care of myself before, but I'm paying a little bit more attention to me. Um, mentally, mentally, we need that mental downtime and that plays a big part in how we project out to the world. So I'm taking a lot of self care, um, making sure that my mind is, um, is in line with the things I want to do and my body resting you know, eating healthy, but I did that before, but now it seems to have a, a different purpose because now it is for me. It is all about me and how I want to feel and what I want to project to the world. And I don't care what anyone else thinks, it's all about me. I am first, I'm being selfish. It's me You first. deserve it, why not? Yeah. This is me just, first. This is, yeah, it should be. This is your chance to do this. You don't have another you don't get another do-over in life, right? I do not. I do not get another do-over in life. And time is so short. Time is really mm -hmm. short. You know, I'm, I'm aging, but I think I'm aging beautifully. You are. You absolutely are. Okay. And how, how have other people received you, especially like in your work environment, people, your loved ones, your friends, how have they perceived you since the, the session? So after the session, I went to dinner with my, my daughter. I drove mm -hmm. to Orlando, I went to dinner with my daughter. And when I walked in the room, it was like her and her girlfriends were in there and was like, that's your mom? <laughs> <laughs> they were so shocked to see me looking the way I did because they used to, you know, the mom of the past, not this new mom. Uh, mm -hmm. My coworkers, um, they all say, we see a difference in you. You're more confident, um, you're, you take charge more. And you, they, they, they can't, they said, we can't put our finger on it, but there's something different about you. <laughs> um, my, my kids are ecstatic, you know, as to the changes that I'm going through, because they, they knew what was happening before. So to see me now, you know, finding myself, being myself and enjoying myself, they are really ecstatic and they're pushing, pushing for everything that I want to do. That's so awesome. Yeah. I couldn't have asked for a better result. I'm, 
I'm just so honored and thrilled that I could give this to you thank with you. what I love to do too. Yes. So thank you so much for your time and sharing because I think a lot of women um, want to know what it's like or if they're on the fence, they're, they're like, well, maybe if Angela did it, I could do it too. Or they're yes. facing a divorce situation and they don't, they don't recognize themselves in the mirror anymore and they want to they wanna get that spark back like yeah. you talked about. So thank you so much for your time today and sharing your story with us. And I'm hoping that it's going to inspire someone else to be able to live life to the fullest like you are right now. I hope so too. And I would say to anyone who's out there watching this and is on the fence to put yourself first and do it for you. Don't think about anyone else. Put yourself first, do it for you. It is such an amazing experience and is one that you will not regret. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much, Angela. It was my pleasure. Okay, bye. Thanks, Steve.